Welcome to the lesson Active Voice and Passive Voice. After completing this lesson, you will be able to define active voice and passive voice. Identify whether the given sentences are an active voice or passive voice. List the rules for changing the tenses while changing voices. List the special cases in passive voice. List the rules to transform the yes or no questions and questions starting with who, what and which into passive voice. List the rules to transform the sentences expressing order or command, advice or suggestions, requests beginning with please or kindly, indirect commands or requests into passive voice. List the special structures in passive voice. List the uses of passive structures. Ravi and Zwinky are in the kitchen. Zwinky's cousin Sally has been baking. Zwinky points to a cake on the counter and tells Ravi that Sally baked a cake. Hearing this, Ravi says, A cake was baked by Sally. Zwinky notices that Ravi has changed the sentence she said. However, Ravi informs Zwinky that he has only changed the voice of the sentence. Zwinky is puzzled by this. So, Ravi decides to tell her about active voice and passive voice. Let us learn about active voice and passive voice. There are two special forms for verbs called voice. Active voice and passive voice. Let us learn in detail about the active voice. A verb is in the active voice when it tells us something that a person or a thing does. An active voice expresses an action performed by the subject. For example, Ramesh wrote a story. The action of writing is performed by the subject Ramesh. The subject of the verb is the doer of the action. The object receives the action of the verb. Now, let us learn in detail about the passive voice. A verb is in passive voice when it tells us something that is done to a person or a thing. A passive voice expresses an action performed upon the subject. For example, a story was written by Ramesh. The action of writing is performed upon the subject story. The subject of the verb is acted upon. The object is the doer of the action. When the active voice is changed to the passive voice, certain changes take place. The object becomes the subject. Thus, story becomes the subject. The subject becomes the object and is shifted as by plus agent. Ramesh becomes the object and appears as by Ramesh in the passive voice. The form of the verb changes to be plus past participle of the verb. The verb wrote changes to was written. The verb changes in number to suit the new subject. Changes in modals such as can, may, might etc. take place and the sentence takes the form of be plus past participle of verb. For example, they can read the book becomes the book can be read by them. When a sentence is changed from active voice to passive voice, a change in tense also takes place. The table below shows the changes in tense from active voice to passive voice.
remember that irrespective of the tense, the sentence will always take the form of be plus past participle of the verb. The passive voice creates an impersonal effect. If the passive sentence needs an agent with by to complete its sense, it is better expressed in an active form. The following sentences are in passive voice. However, they do not need an agent to complete them. For example, the church was built in 1853. The cheater was caught. Was the news aired? The agents in these examples are not important. Thus, the passive voice is used in the following. When the agent is not important. When the agent is not required. When the subject is they. When the speaker wishes to remain neutral. When there is a need for confidentiality. Sometimes a transitive verb has two objects. For example, she gave me the keys. The verb gave has a direct object keys and an indirect object me. When a transitive verb has two objects, there are two ways in which the sentence can be changed into the passive voice. The direct object becomes the subject. When the direct object, keys, becomes the subject, the sentence is, the keys were given to me. The indirect object becomes the subject. When the indirect object, me, becomes the subject, the sentence is, I was given the keys. Usually, it is preferred that the indirect object becomes the subject of the passive verb. Always remember, in this special case, one verb becomes the subject of the passive verb while the other object remains unchanged. The latter object is called the retained object. Let us look at some other special cases in the passive voice. For plus the retained object. The direct object becomes the subject in passive voice and the preposition for is used with the retained object. For example, they got me a book. When this sentence is transformed into passive voice, it becomes a book was got for me by them. The direct object book becomes the subject and the preposition for is used with the retained object me. Other verbs that take the preposition for plus the retained object are send, get, make, bring, leave, etc. To plus the retained object. The direct object becomes the subject in passive voice and the preposition to is used with the retained object. The indirect object is the recipient in this case. For example, he gave her a card. When this sentence is changed into passive voice, it becomes a card was given to her by him. The direct object card becomes the subject and the preposition to is used with the retained object her. Passive voice with object complement. When a verb is followed by an object complement, the object becomes the subject in passive voice. However, the complement remains the same. For example, they crowned him king. When this sentence is transformed into passive voice, it becomes he was crowned king. The object him becomes the subject. However, the complement king remains the same. Here are some more special cases in passive voice. 
passive voice with verb plus object preposition. In some sentences, constructions in the passive voice, another appropriate preposition is used instead of by. Let us look at some examples. Their attempt impressed the judges. The judges were impressed with their attempt. We know the truth becomes the truth is known to us. Simon married Rima becomes Rima was married to Simon. Passive voice with the infinitive. When a bare infinitive, an infinitive without two appears in the active voice. It changes to full infinitive, an infinitive with two in the passive voice. For example, we made her sing on the trip. Sing is the bare infinitive. When this sentence is transformed into passive voice, it becomes She was made to sing on the trip by us. The bare infinitive sing changes to the full infinitive to sing. If we change the voice of interrogative sentences, the structure of the question remains the same. In the passive voice, the verb still appears before the subject. For example, can they win the match becomes can the match be won by them. The auxiliary verbs do, does, did used in yes or no questions change into is, am, was, were in passive voice. For example, did she cook this meal becomes was this meal cooked by her? The auxiliary verbs have, has, had used in yes or no questions change into have been plus past participle of the verb in passive voice. For example, have you dried the clothes becomes have the clothes been dried by you? Models such as can, could, may, might, etc. do not change. However, they are used along with be plus past participle. For example, can they lay the foundation becomes can the foundation be laid by them. When question word questions are changed into passive voice, the question words are retained in the beginning and a preposition usually by is placed at the end of the question. For example, what do the children want becomes what is wanted by the children. Which book did they take becomes which book was taken by them. When did they eat ice cream becomes when was ice cream eaten by them. An imperative sentence can be a command, request or a suggestion. Let us see how imperative sentences can be changed into passive voice. When a sentence expresses a command or order, the passive structure of the sentence will start with let. The imperative verbs change into be plus participle. For example, do not speak ill of people. Let people not be spoken ill of. When a sentence expresses advice or suggestions, the verb takes the form should or must plus be plus past participle. The object of the imperative sentence becomes the subject in the passive structure. For example, wash the clothes in cold water. The clothes should be washed in cold water. Requests that begin with kindly or please can be changed into passive voice by making the following changes. Sometimes the phrase you are requested to is placed before the imperative verb. For example, kindly move to the front of the room becomes you are requested to move to the front of the room. The phrase you are requested to is placed before the imperative verb move. 
In negative sentences, the structure becomes you are requested not to plus verb. For example, please do not vacate your seats becomes you are requested not to vacate your seats. For sentences asking permission, the words please or kindly are placed between may and be. For example, kindly give me some time. This sentence can be changed into passive voice in three ways. You are requested to give me some time. I may kindly be given some time. Time may kindly be given to me. Remember, in an imperative sentence where the verb has two objects, only one of the objects can be made into the subject in the passive voice. When a command or a request made in indirect speech is changed into passive voice, the object following the reporting verb becomes the subject and the infinitive in the indirect request remains unchanged. For example, he requested her to participate in the competition becomes she was requested to participate in the competition by him. The object her follows the reporting verb requested in active voice. So her becomes the subject in passive voice. The infinitive to participate remains unchanged in passive voice. There are certain special passive voice structures. Let us learn about them. It plus passive verb plus clause. This structure is used with verbs of reporting when we do not know or do not need to know who the speaker is. It is generally used in newspaper reports. For example, it is said that it would rain that day, passive. It was believed that the building had been demolished, passive. There is or there are plus subject plus transitive infinitive. When a noun or pronoun is placed after there is or there are in active voice, it becomes the subject in passive voice. For example, there are books to read becomes books are to be read. Passive voice of complex sentences. When a complex sentence is changed from active voice to passive voice, both clauses must be changed. For example, they think that there will be a breakthrough becomes it is thought that there will be a breakthrough. Passive voice of compound sentences. When a compound sentence is changed from active voice to passive voice, all the verbs are converted into passive voice. Sometimes only one object is changed into the subject in the passive voice and the rest are left as they are, if not required. For example, they bought the book and read it becomes the book was bought and read by them. Passive voice is used in both speech and writing. However, it is used more in formal writing. Passive voice is used in the following. To write formal notices and announcements. For example, electrical appliances must be turned off after use. To write newspaper reports. For example, a committee has been formed by the company. To write headlines and advertisements. For example, two injured in road accident. To write scientific reports and experiments. For example, a strip of magnesium is burnt in oxygen.
we have learnt about the active voice and the passive voice. Let us now look at a few more examples. Ravi has explained the active voice and the passive voice to Zwinki. Let us revise the main points for Zwinki before she and Ravi eat some cake. A verb is an active voice when it tells us something that a person or a thing does. An active voice expresses an action performed by the subject. A verb is an passive voice when it tells us something that is done to a person or a thing. A passive voice expresses an action performed upon the subject. When the active voice is transformed to the passive voice, certain changes take place. The object becomes the subject. The subject becomes the object and is shifted as by plus agent. The form of the verb changes to be plus past participle of the verb. The verb changes in number to suit the new subject. Changes in modals such as can, may, might, etc. take place and the sentence takes the form of be plus past participle of verb. When a sentence is changed from the active voice to the passive voice, a change in tense also takes place. The passive voice creates an impersonal effect. If the passive sentence needs an agent with by to complete its sense, it is better expressed in an active form. The passive voice is used in the following. When the agent is not important, when the agent is not required, when the subject is they, when the speaker wishes to remain neutral, when there is a need for confidentiality, when a transitive verb has two objects, there are two ways in which the sentence can be changed into the passive voice. The direct object becomes the subject. The indirect object becomes the subject. Remember, in this special case, one verb becomes the subject of the passive verb while the other object remains unchanged. The latter object is called the retained object. There are other special cases in passive voice for plus the retained object. The direct object becomes the subject in passive voice and the preposition for is used with the retained object. Other verbs that take for plus the retained object are send, get, make, bring, leave, etc. To plus the retained object. The direct object becomes the subject in passive voice and the preposition to is used with the retained object. The indirect object is the recipient in this case. Passive voice with object complement. When a verb is followed by an object complement, the object becomes the subject in passive voice. However, the complement remains the same. Passive voice with verb plus object preposition. In some sentence constructions, in the passive voice, another appropriate preposition is used instead of by. Passive voice with the infinitive. When a bare infinitive, an infinitive without to, appears in active voice, it changes into a full infinitive, an infinitive with to in passive voice. When we change the voice of interrogative sentences, the structure of the question remains the same. In passive voice, 
the verb still appears before the subject. The auxiliary verbs do, does, did, used in yes or no questions, change into is, am, was, were in passive voice. The auxiliary verbs have, has, had, used in yes or no questions, change into have been plus past participle of the verb in passive voice. Modals such as can, could, may, might, etc. do not change. However, they are used along with be plus past participle. When question word questions are changed into passive voice, the question words are retained in the beginning and a preposition, usually by, is placed at the end of the question. An imperative sentence can be a command, request or a suggestion. Let us see how imperative sentences can be changed into passive voice. When a sentence expresses a command or order, the passive structure of the sentence will start with let. The imperative verbs change into be plus participle. When a sentence expresses advice or suggestions, the verb takes the form should or must plus be plus past participle. The object of the imperative sentence becomes the subject in the passive structure. Requests that begin with kindly or please can be changed into passive voice by making the following changes. Sometimes the phrase you are requested to is placed before the imperative verb. In negative sentences, the structure becomes you are requested not to plus verb. For sentences asking permission, the words please or kindly are placed between may and be. In an imperative sentence, where the verb has two objects, only one of the objects can be made into the subject in the passive voice. There are certain special passive structures. It plus passive verb plus clause. This structure is used with verbs of reporting when we do not know or do not need to know the speaker. It is generally used in newspaper reports. There is or there are plus subject plus transitive infinitive. If a noun or pronoun is placed after there is or there are in active voice, it becomes the subject in passive voice. Passive of complex sentences. When a complex sentence is changed from active voice to passive voice, both clauses must be changed. Passive of compound sentences. When a compound sentence is changed from active voice to passive voice, all the verbs are converted into passive voice. Sometimes only one object is changed into the subject in the passive voice and the rest are left as they are if not required. Passive voice is used in the following to write formal notices and announcements to write newspaper reports to write headlines and advertisements to write scientific reports and experiments